service call pilot not staying lit i got specialist amaya grabbing my tool bag the veto tech xl he's gonna grab a thermal coupling 36 honeywell 36 inch honeywell thermal coupling and we're gonna see what's going on i don't know what this is water heater or boiler or furnace but we're gonna get it done want to know why because we're pipe doctor ain't that right yeah man let's go get it let's go get that money you have a pilot yeah on this gas fired steam boiler but you have no heat. No heat. Is the thermostat on or off right now? It's on. What is it set to? Mm -hmm. What is no. this? I don't know. You maybe raise it up, up? Kelvin? Go yeah, uh... I put it to the highest though. Abby, move over. All right, so we were dispatched out here for a pilot not staying lit, but <clears throat> it's not that. And you, show, show him the go, go. Look at me. That is on. This is going to be our thermostat. I'm so good. I don't know. I don't know what this is about. <coughs> this is never funny. It's never connected. Mm. Yeah. Nothing happens anyway. Ali, who's calling me? Who? Sorry, I got interrupted by uh, a client. You have to recall him. Wanna know why? He's the boss. Man. He's the boss. He's Jefe. Boss. El Patron. El Patron. All right, so thermostat is on, Kelvin? Yes. Okay, hold the camera. Let's and then make sure you record what I'm doing. I want to see. This is probably thermostat. Let's see what happens if I bypass thermostat. Like that. Nothing happens, all right? Is there a power switch here? Oh. Yes, power switch. What is was right that here? about? I'm not too sure. Let's do that again. So we heard a click of that relay. Which relay was that, Kelvin? Oh, I know, Kelvin, I know you're not too sure still. This relay right there, we heard this click. Let's turn the power off. And let's turn it on. If we hear that click, yes. All right, so we have signal from thermostat to turn on. So now let's check our safety circuits. I hate that fucking flashlight, Kelvin. Oh my god. Throw the thing in the garbage. So let's go to the back of the boiler. And the first thing we're going to check for is this blocked vent switch. I'm pushing on it, nothing's happening. <clears throat> Get the voltmeter out. We're going to check the pressure control next. We're going to check for continuity. Across the pressure troll. What just happened? Look at that. Okay. We're going to check the continuity. That's good. I got a funny feeling. Let's go down to the gas valve. 24 volts. What we got? 21.48 volts. We don't really have 26 volts. And that's a concern for me.
26 volts. Now we're going to find out where the short is. Wow. We have a bad rollout switch, which is what that is. That ceramic disc right there, that's burnt out. I bet you they had flame rollout on this bad boy. All right. Yes. Are you sure? I just, I just forget how I just put this thing on. It was up. Oh man, I'm retarded. That went there like that. And this went there like that. Right? Yes. And that goes in there. Wasn't it the other way? I think it was this way. Right? Is it like that? Yeah, it was like that. And that went there. Right? Yes. Just go out. I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right, pilot lighting instructions. Kelly, you're a horrible video guy, man. Oh. Put the pilot. Pilot's relit. chamber there. That's in place. All right. We let it go. Turn it on. And we have ignition. Look at that. Calvin, how long have we been here for? Oh, it went out. That's odd. Let's investigate. We needed to replace this flame sensor. Really? A flame sensor? Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking about the electricity. Sometimes it go away. Oh, uh, no, uh. Yes, 
I could check the boiler in operation for the boiler. Oh, not the... Yeah, not just the, what I'm sent here for. Unless you want to pay directly for that. That is on right now, right? I said that if that if the flame if that ceramic disc dies again, mm -hmm. then you're gonna need a new boiler. Mm -hmm. All right, because it's a safety device. So if it continues, if it goes out again, you know the boiler is not running, you know, safely or properly, and that poses a risk. So you would have to either have the boiler, you know, fully scrubbed and cleaned. You know, this whole thing had to be taken apart, or you replace the boiler. And looks like we'll be fine. Oxygen's a little low, but carbon monoxide is good. Stack temperature is good. It's rising. Yeah. All right, Kelvin, let's clipboard that.